Welcome back. Lots happening in terms of uh, corporate movements. Somewhere than Madison has made a big acquisition, picking up 100% stake in Germany-based SaaS Auto System Technic for an enterprise value of 4,800 crores. The company provides cockpit module assemblies for the auto industry. To discuss this, we are joined by the chairman Vivek Chand Segal and the CFO Kunal Malani. Gentlemen, morning to both of you and thanks for joining in. Uh, Mr. Segal, let me start with you first. Congratulations on this uh, acquisition, a fairly large one uh, compared to your own size. So tell us a little bit about the rationale and what will it add in terms of both synergies for Samvardhan as well as how much the content per vehicle can go up by considering this company has a large presence globally, a large presence in the fast-growing EV segment as well. Uh, thank you, Sonia. Uh, uh, this uh, acquisition is uh, uh, a brand new a portion. So it's not increasing content per car or something like that. It's adding uh, in a very uh, smart way the ability to work together with the car makers to uh, assemble their uh, requirements in a just-in-time, just-in-sequence basis on the car lines in their uh, plants itself. So that's the uh, acquisition that we have done. It brings us very close to the car makers because we are uh, now absolutely in sync with what are they uh, doing, what, is, what are they producing. It's not just our production, it's also production from our other companies and all that putting, putting it together for the car makers. So it's a very uh, new field, but uh, something which we've always wanted to be, and that is to be a 0.5 tier uh, supplier to car makers. Okay, I do want some numbers, so Kunal Malani, I guess, would be helpful on that front as well. Kunal, uh, thanks for joining in. Uh, you know, you have said in your presentation that you will take uh, a debt on as well as internal accruals to fund this deal. Now, currently, Samuel is sitting on net debt of around 8,440 crores. How much additional debt would you take on board? And uh, what would you be comfortable in terms of a debt equity ratio post the acquisition? Yeah, so uh, I think the debt EBITDA, net debt to EBITDA ratio is what we follow, which is one and a 1.8x basis December results that we announced. Uh, even if we consider the whole 540 million as uh, debt, uh, just theoretically, uh, we would be slightly above 2x. Uh, and considering an improving trajectory going forward, uh, at the point of closing, I still expect that the whole thing will still mean a debt bit of less than 2x, uh, assuming even the full being on, on debt basis. Reality so we are going with the, uh, yeah, so we are going with the assumption that you'll fund it entirely through debt? No, no, it will have an internal accrual. I'm just giving you the worst case situation. And hence, in reality, I think we will lie somewhere between 1.8x and 2x as, as net debt to EBITDA at the, at the point of closing, which is five to seven months from now. Okay, all right. Uh... Uh, hi, Mr. Segal and uh, Kunal. Thanks so much for joining in. Well, uh, you know, I think they would, it would throw up also a cross-selling opportunity, right? And you all would be having some synergy benefits. Could you quantify any of this? Definitely. This is, um, uh, we are buying this company from uh, a company which is specializing more in the interior uh, portion of the car. Uh, but as you know, we uh, manufacture for exterior also. Uh, so there are a lot of other modules that come in, uh, like front-end module, rear-end module. Uh, this company at the moment is only in uh, uh, cockpits. Uh, that's mm. the uh, uh, panel which is uh, in, in front of you when you're driving. So uh, th that is there, but also we are in trucks. This uh, company is only in the cars, but we are also in trucks. We're in two-wheelers. So across the board, we can uh, bring this in. The interesting thing is that uh, the entire team is going to come in uh, with us over here and uh, sky is the limit uh, how they can grow. So it's a new vertical that is uh, emerging from an existing uh, vertical of Madison, that's the Polymer Group. But it will be more on the logistics and also uh, um, uh, interior and exterior parts. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, Kunal, uh, you know, I wanted a little more details on how this would uh, 
help you in terms of an operational performance. So the margins of the acquired business is around 11.5% and Samuel's own margins have been in a range of around 65 to 8.3%. Can we assume that the blended margins post the acquisition coming through will move up? And if yes, what on an average is the band that you're looking at? Uh, look, we, we, as you know, we do not really talk about percentage margin. Uh, but yes, needless to say, when this asset comes in on a blended basis, uh, the margin profile should look better than than what the the Samuel one is right now, just because this is at at a margin higher than where Samuel is today. Uh, having said so, with all the synergies that Mr. Segal was just mentioning, uh, we do expect you know sizable amount of growth to get embedded into the asset. And hence, uh, going forward, uh, to see an improving margin trajectory as well. Mm. You know, uh, just uh, thinking out loud, uh, uh, Kunal or Mr. Segal, you could comment on this. Uh, what led for Isia to sell SAS? You know, they acquired this in 2019 itself. It's a very good acquisition from uh, the shareholders' perspective for y'all. But what led the seller to sell this particular business? Because they acquired, I think it was a JV between Continental and uh, Farisia. And uh, they just acquired it three years ago or so. That question is best answered by them. Uh, we are in no position to answer. No, because it's looking so good for your shareholders. I was just wondering what was the counterpart thinking. But anyways, it's, it's great from your uh, shareholder perspective as well. Uh, in terms of a... You know, in, in terms of... Good things happen to us. <laughs> mm. uh, Mr. Segal, you know, I, I mean, I think this whole electric vehicle space, right, it's something that you're you're keenly focusing on as well. And uh, the intention looks like you want to sort of raise your revenue proportion there. Uh, currently, about 6% of your revenues comes from EV sales for the consolidated SAML entity as part of, uh, I noticed as part of your presentation. Given that SaaS has a big presence in EVs, how much do you think you can eventually take the contribution up by? Uh, I think uh, uh, Kunal would be better uh, poised to sure. answer this. Kunal, I go ahead. Of 50%. But go ahead, Kunal. Uh, uh, so this asset carries 50% uh, of its revenues uh, being uh, being EVs. Uh, so in effect, we would be looking at uh, you know closer to eight nine percent at an aggregate level now. Uh, okay. Having said so, uh, our own portfolio, if you look at uh, uh, you know from an order book perspective, nearly 37% of our order book is also EVs. So going forward. The share of EVs seems to be increasing quite substantially uh, at an aggregate level for us as well. Okay, and one final question, uh, Mr. Segal, any more acquisitions on the annual this year, in uh, this calendar year? We'll be getting back to you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I'll get back to you before you get back to me, you know that. <laughs> Yeah, but I think, uh, Sonia, what's important for you to understand is the last two and a half years because of COVID, we have been doing a lot of uh, yes. uh, diligences and all that, and there's a lot of pain in the system. So mm. definitely uh, mm. uh, before March is over, you will hear uh, of some more acquisitions. <laughs> That's the best right. guidance. Okay, all the best, uh, Mr. Segal and Kunal. Thank you for stopping by and speaking to CNBC TV 18. That is Samvardhan Madison talking about the recent acquisition of SaaS. They're saying that um, at an absolute level, the debt to EBITDA uh, maximum will go up to about 1.8 to 2 times post the acquisition, and they're comfortable with that. Let's take a quick break on that note. On the other side of the break, we will have Mitesh Thakkar join in for a quick technical check. Stay with us.